Still no official confirmation of what caused this crash, but based on witness statements, some experts are now pointing to mechanical failure. We hear that the plane was on fire as it came in to land on that runway. But as you say, that death toll has been rising significantly. Now we're hearing 49, but again, that number may continue to rise. Rescuers on the scene just moments after the crash desperately tried to pull bodies from the burning wreckage. 71 people had been on board, and dozens of firefighters and rescue workers clustered around trying to get them out. Amid the chaos and the rush of badly injured victims to hospitals, many passengers still remain unaccounted for. Survivors said that after a normal takeoff from Dhaka Airport in Bangladesh, the plane had begun to behave strangely, only as it approached Kathmandu. It circled the airport twice as it waited for clearance, then swerved repeatedly as it came in before catching fire. The plane was a Bombardier Dash 8Q400. The airline is called U.S. Bangla Airlines. However, there is no clear affiliation to any U.S. firms. It's operated since 2014, and it flies to several domestic and regional destinations. Kathmandu Airport has been the site of several deadly crashes in recent years. In September 2012, a turboprop plane carrying trekkers to Mount Everest hit a bird and crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all 19 on board. But again, we're still waiting for confirmation of what caused this crash. Uh, mechanical failure at the moment seems to be the most likely suggestion.